Hey YouTube, who's your piper? Hey K Mark, coming at you. It's about eight o'clock Tuesday evening, and I noticed uh, one of my bucks, my buck rabbits, um, had something going on with it. Um, something that I'm not sure what exactly got into it or happened, but uh, he's not doing really well. So I gotta, I gotta call him tonight. Um, not my favorite buck, but uh, he's done a really good job for me. But unfortunately, when, like with these rabbits, if uh, I'm not sure what happened with them, you know, I, I can't eat them. I won't eat them just because I'm not not sure what's causing them to act in a bad way. So. Just getting some stuff around for that. I gotta grab my gloves. And uh, I went ahead and fed them tonight because I'm a softy. <laughs> I better get after it. Okay. I just got done filming everything and I thought I probably ought to put a little disclaimer in here. If you don't like looking at anything that is dead, um, if you're squeamish, this ain't the video for you. So just turn it off. I don't show anything bloody or ghoulish or any mistreatment of animals, but there is um, a dead animal in this video. So if you don't like that, don't watch it. And if you leave comments below stating whatever your your beliefs, whatever that's your right, you can do whatever you want. But I warned you. So fair warning. This buck always did me good. Put meat in our freezer. And uh, I'm very appreciative. But he's not uh, he's not hurting anymore, so We'll uh, give him a proper burial. Well, that's that. Buried it. Threw on some uh, old chunks of maple just to keep critters out of it. I'll take those off in the spring. Rest easy. It's warm. It's still, I believe, right at 80 degrees. 78, 80 degrees. Drinking a Modelo. Modelo. Can't see it. Bugs are bad. And, uh, part of my the raising animals livestock that I I really don't enjoy much at all but um, you know you can't at least in my accounting an animal that's costing you money is not really something that you on this level of rabbitry that I have it's not something that you can uh, that you can maintain and keep and you gotta take care of it as soon as possible so it doesn't affect the rest of your rabbitry. I'm so hot, man, I'm sweating, I apologize. There's no air moving in this garage. I got it all shut up so the bugs would stay out. But he was a he was a good sized buck. Um, so if you go back in my videos, you'll see an old white New Zealand buck that we call Barang. He was the first rabbit that I ever bought about two years ago now. And um, he's my, my favorite one. He's just like an old man. Doesn't, nothing, he's got a great personality. Nothing bothers him. He doesn't jump, doesn't get startled. He uh, pretty calm and uh, pretty good traits uh, to pass on. But that buck that I had to dispatch tonight it was 
the offspring of Barang, my white New Zealand, and a uh, and a black and white New Zealand doe that looked just like that buck I had to put down. And uh, I got another buck in this last, I, I got two litters still that I got a, a butcher coming up, but um, I've got another buck that looks just like the, the one I put down tonight. So I don't know, I may keep it. Um, and I may may just get out of rabbits altogether. I've been contemplating that and I need to do it before everything starts freezing up because once you start in the winter, you know, nobody's really interested in uh, picking up where you left off, you know, but it's so much more work in the winter than really what it's worth it for me right now. So anyways, those are unfortunate things and um, you got to do that sometimes when you're, I mean, that's just the reality of, of raising livestock, any kind of livestock. I've had all kinds in my life from hogs, chickens, cattle. You just got to do what makes sense, you know, dollars and cents. And uh, sometimes it's, it's rougher than others. So, but, you know, typically I don't bury rabbits. <laughs> I don't do that. There's other ways to dispose of them. and uh, But I wasn't going to butcher this one. And I wasn't just going to toss it in the garbage can. So dug it a proper hole. Anyways. That's what I'm doing on a Tuesday night. Appreciate you guys watching my channel. Cheers. Now I got that done. See what else I got on the honeydew list. Till next time, who's your piper?